Hey everybody, got a uh, Bible I want to show you guys. This is one I'm about to do a uh, liner change on. This is a Schuyler Quintel, New King James in black calf skin. Uh, it's beautiful. A brother of mine on Facebook, uh, he wanted it uh, the liner changed because these come with the paper liner in them. So um, anyway, I'm just going to do a really quick run through just so you guys know what <clears throat> what they are uh, what they're about if you're looking at buying one of these it's some of the best calfskin i mean it's such an awesome leather and uh it's growing on me more and more and more so anyway let's look at it really quick all right so when you open it up you can see the calfskin leather uh printed in uh there on the inside of the cover uh you have the uh, stamped in Jerusalem cross on the cover. You also have on the spine, you have the raised ribs, new King James version and, uh, the Schuyler emblem on the, on the spine. And, uh, comes in this box right here, this, uh, little two piece box. It'll fit back in the box. Whenever I do a liner change, it won't change any of the size of it. So, You'll have uh, this paper liner, and you can see it, it has a, uh, a reinforcement here, but it's only paper or mesh. You can even see something got between the paper and the glue, and the, but something got between the paper and the, the leather there. So whenever I remove all that, that'll go, I'll get all that off. So um, anyway, you have several pages of white paper in the front, as you do in the back. You have a little presentation page. You have the first uh, title page and then your your uh, main title page. You can see Schuyler Bibles, Quintel Series, and uh, New King James Version. Really beautiful. They do such a good job with the art gilding and the, the gold gilding. Uh, the only uh, negative on these calfskin editions is the paper liner, and that's why that's what I'm going to remedy. I'm going to put a leather liner in and make it edge lined. You also have your uh, publication page. You can see it's printed and bound um, by Youngblood in the Netherlands. Their famous uh, typesetting the 2K Denmark uh, created. It's a beautiful typeset. I love, I love the uh, font they use. So You have your preface to the new king james and then you start your text the text is double column paragraph format you have your uh, references at the bottom the numbers in red your uh your chapter indicators in red and at the the uh, top the um the book and chapter indicators at the top of the page are in red as well and the page numbering is in red it's just beautifully done uh, 11 point font uh, love love the size uh, my only hitch with the uh, with the uh, layout uh, is the words per line uh, it gets a little bit annoying at times uh, for me reading is I, I'm I'm not a really uh, fluent reader uh, so things that distract me things that break my concentration uh, kind of uh, hinder my ability to read for long terms of uh, periods of time so uh, when you only have six or seven words per line uh, then you have to break the line to the next line it, I have to use like a ruler and then just move the ruler down as I read. Uh, it helps keep me focused on where I'm at. That's the only real hindrance I have with the with the uh, Quintel, regardless of the uh, translation. So, anyway, uh, this thing's beautiful. the The paper's awesome. It's a uh, uh, this is a 36 GSM paper. Uh, really great paper. Uh, you have a little bit of ghosting. You can see a little bit of ghosting, but it's it's not it's not so much that it's distracting. Uh, so it's it's really great. I love it. 
All right, so uh, when we get to uh, the back, well, I'll go and show you. It comes with these three uh, little, I'd say they're about five to seven millimeter ribbons. They're not the typical 10 millimeter ribbons that you would get in the goat skin editions. I don't know why they didn't use the larger ribbons. Um, I guess to save some money or make, maybe just, just make them a little different than the goat skin editions. But uh, they use these smaller ribbons. It's still not, not bad. They just don't look proportional to the, uh, to the Bible. The Bible's a, a good size Bible. I think it, it, would, it would look better with larger ribbons. But anyway. All right, so uh, we get to the New Testament, and you can see it's a, a black letter text. It's beautiful, though. It's just beautiful. When we get to the back, uh, on the quintels, you're going to have a concordance. I'll show you that. The concordance is the teeny tiniest font you might you may have ever seen. I don't even know the font size, but it is maybe a six, maybe a five. I don't know. It's it's tiny. It is little bitty, and uh, so it's. Uh, but you have a lot more uh, information here in the concordance because it has such a smaller uh, font, and it's three columns. Really beautifully done. You have the different red and black uh, to give it some contrast between the verses, the uh, the word you're looking for, and the start of the verse in black. It's really nice. Now, I, I love the fact of what uh, Skylar does with their maps. They they get it right. They do the the uh, Bible paper. For their maps it feels so much nicer they're so much more flexible uh, instead of using a a uh, glossy card stock uh, th these are just great really really nice and then in the after the maps you have a few pages of of uh, white card stock i would love to see lined paper where this card stock is uh, either front and back or just replace both of those signatures with with lined paper I think that would look really really nice and and people would probably use it uh, in that manner all right so you see the the, the paper paste down in the back and uh, then the back of the uh, calf skin I'm telling you this calf skin is primo it is some of the best calf skin I'm just excited to get to work on it for my buddy. So anyway, the next time you'll see this, I'll be doing a, a uh, liner change review on it. And uh, and I'm sure it'll be much, much uh, floppier. And uh, and it'll, it'll be better to fill in the hand. So uh, anyway, that's what I'm about to do on this one. I just want to go ahead and show you that one since I have, I don't think I've reviewed the new King James Calfskin Skylar. So I want to go ahead and do that really quickly. So. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed and, uh, and God bless.